Welcome back to part 2 of the smiley emoji backpack. We've already done the main part of the backpack and what we're going to do next is the 15 square that is going to be used as the cover for the backpack. And to do this you need to work the square the same way we did and work the two rows of the gray yarn and then after that we're going to work a third row. So the only difference between this square and the other one is that we're going to do an extra row for this one. We're going to start with a chain one then work one half double crochet till we get to the stitch in the middle of each corner. So one half double crochet into every stitch until you get to the corner stitch. At the corner stitch we're going to place three half double crochets into that same stitch. So one, two and three. Then all the other stitches till you get to the next corner will get just one half double crochet. Once you get to the next corner place three half double crochets into it. That is one, two and three. Now repeat the half double crochets to the next corner and I'll meet you towards the end. I'm in the last corner and I'm placing the three half double crochets there. Then at the end I have two stitches remaining which will get one half double crochet each. They're actually three and then I'll do a slip stitch into the first stitch to complete that round. Chain one and cut off the yarn. And our square that is going to cover the bag is done. So you're going to pull through and fasten. Now get your square on one side of the squares. Or on one edge of the squares. We're going to count the number of stitches from one corner to the next. And then divide it by two. My stitches at this point are 20. And therefore I'm going to count 10 stitches. Then mark with a stitch marker. I'm marking that middle stitch on the square and then I'll get that point and connect it to the middle part of the bag. You need to ensure that the stitches on either side are the same. Then get your bag, determine the middle part of either of the sides, either of the longer sides and mark. Place your stitch marker right there. Then we're going to start connecting from the right hand side. I'll count nine stitches from the stitch marker backwards to get to the point where I'm supposed to start connecting. And then I'll go into that stitch, but I need to get the first stitch on the corner part of this square. Then insert the hook in both of the stitches, grab the yarn and reconnect at that point. So you're going to connect the yarn and then chain one. Make sure that you fasten, then go back into that stitch with a single crochet. And while working the stitches, work over the end. So single crochet into the first stitch, go into the second stitch and connect them with a single crochet and you're just going to connect with a single crochet all the way through till you get to the other corner of that edge of the square. I'm done attaching the square to the bag and now we need to do an edging all the way around that square beginning in that corner square that we've already we've attached right now. So do a single crochet into that corner stitch then place one single crochet into all the stitches till you get to the corner. At the corner stitch the corner stitch will get three single crochets. So all the stitches on the edge get one single crochet. All the stitches at the corner get three single crochets. I'm at that first corner and in that corner I'm going to place the three single crochets. So that's one, two, and three. Then the other edge will get one single crochet into every stitch till we get to the next corner.
get to that next corner and place three single crochets into it then continue on the other edge with one single crochet in every stitch till you get to the last corner stitch that you did or that very first corner stitch that you used in attaching the square to the main part of the bag when you get to that corner stitch place a single crochet into it then slip stitch onto the very first single crochet that we've done to complete that round my stitch is a bit tight and therefore that's why I was struggling to get the hook through chain one at the end and cut off the yarn and the cover of the backpack is well attached and this is what we're going to have then we're going to attach a lock to the bag at that point I'm going to do the emoji on this particular square and then come back next we're going to do a strap that we're going to put on the top part of the bag and we're going to do a total of 200 chains using the gray yarn so just chain until you get 200 and then once you have the 200 chains we're going to attach it i have the 200 chains ready so i'll get my dunny needle and use it to weave the thread through the top part of the bag so just insert this strap through the dunny needle and now get your bag from the front part in that gap that we had right there you're going to insert your your needle and pull the yarn through then you're going to count sorry you're not counting at this point you're going to go to the next gap and count three stitches before the next gap so three and into that gap after the three stitches insert the the needle then next we're going to insert the needle in the gap and through to the next gap then you're going to go through to the other two gaps on that other side like for this part you just need to watch and learn After going around the bag, we get back to the front part and we insert that strap right there. And now we have that opening close up by the strap. I'm here to do the emoji on this square, but I'm, I'm going to do it. So next you're going to get the ends and do a knot on each of the ends and make sure that the knot is close to the stitches and it is very tight. Then you're just going to get the other end and do the same thing do a knot make sure the knot is close to the stitches and tighten it then we're going to get our pair of scissors and cut off the end but do not cut too close to the knot and there we have our strap you can knot it at that point next we do the straps that will carry the bag and you're going to leave a long end then do a slip knot the end is for attaching the strap onto the bag then we're going to chain six block off the sixth chain and chain one more yarn over and do a half double crochet into that chain that you're holding then one half double crochet into all the stitches for a total of six half double crochets at the end we're going to do the last half double crochet and that is row one done chain one and turn to begin row two and then we're going to work row two, one stitch into each of the stitches. So one half double crochet into the first stitch, then one half double crochet into the other five stitches. At the end be careful not to miss that last stitch so place the last half double crochet there then chain one and turn to begin row three begin in the first stitch with a half double crochet and place one half double crochet into each of the stitches and now we're going to repeat this row until we have the length of the strap that you want i'll do 116 rows to get me to the strap that i want
I'm coming to the end of the last row and I'm just doing the last half double crochet stitches. And at the end, I'll chain one and cut off the yarn, leaving a long end for attaching the strap on that edge, then pull through. And we already have the strap that carries the bag. Next, we're going to mark, you're going to count a total of 50 rows and then place a stitch marker on the 50th row. Then in the middle, you're going to count 16 and place another stitch marker. Then on that other side, you should have a total of 50 rows. So you're going to have 50, 16, 50. The next part is one of those parts that I say, just watch and learn. So now get your strap like this, fold it such that the two stitch markers are close to each other. Then you're going to get your bag. You need to attach the strap onto the side that does not have the cover or the side where the cover does not flip onto. And you're going to place your strap like this. Then with the stitch marker, you need to mark that middle row or the middle point of connection. So that you know where you're connecting your strap from and up to. So just watch and learn please. The strap is in place on the upper part of the bag and therefore we are going to just turn to the bottom part and attach on either of the two sides at the corners. So beginning with this side, we are just going to count six stitches from the edge, get the, the darning needle, needle, insert the strap into the needle and then we are going to count six stitches from the edge. Make sure you are holding your strap the right way so that it's not twisted and then count the six stitches. After the six stitches, you need to go to that very first stitch where the strap, the yarn is. Insert your hook into that very first stitch. Then count the six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Go into that six stitch. And now just join the corresponding stitches. Just sew that strap into that edge. At the end you need to make a knot and then weave in that end that remains and we have our strap in place, firmly in place, so just weave in that end that has remained. Once you're done weaving the end, you'll turn to the other side and attach the other strap the same way we've done this. Both straps are joined and the bag is almost ready. We're only remaining with attaching the lock. We're going to get the cover of the bag and we want to attach the lock on that cover. And therefore, on this edge, we're going to determine the middle stitch. So count the stitches and mark the stitch that is in the middle. 
Okay, you don't really have to count. Instead of counting, I like to hold my square like this such that you can see the middle stitch and then just mark it. Then you're going to get your lock and attach it. So you need to open the lock and then you can attach. So now this is our bag after we are completely done. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the tutorial. If you've enjoyed the tutorial, kindly leave a like, a comment, share, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and see you in the next tutorial.